Hi guys, I'm Warmaster Moloch, and this is an early game start guide to playing as Teclis and the Order of Lawmasters on Legendary Difficulty on the Mortal Empires map on Total War Warhammer 2. What a mouthful that was. Okay, so Teclis, unlike his twin brother Tyrion, does not start on the big donut shaped comfort blanket that is Ulth 1. He starts out down here on the Lustria Bowl. Now, that means that his campaign can become complicated very quickly if you don't know how to start it up. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. And yeah, once you know what you're doing, it's actually pretty simple. Now, a common mistake that people make because it kind of invites you to do it is to go after the Blessed Dread first. That's actually not the right way to go, in my opinion and experience. The best target to go for straight away is Luther Harkon at the Awakening. The reason for that is, it's manifold really, there's a few reasons why. So, first of all, Luther Harkon's magical resistance and all those things that he can get if you let him develop, make him really difficult for high elf armies to kill, especially if you're going for things like a Sisters of Avalon Doom stack, for example. Theoretically, that's one of the best stacks in the game, but the problem is that they do magic damage. Therefore, Luther Harkon is barely touched by them. So you want to get him before he gets all those resistances up. You also want to get him before he can start doom stacking because the Vampire Coast, but especially Noctilus and Luther Harkon, they have a real tendency to go for things like loads and loads of Necrofex Colossi. You don't want to be messing with that. So by taking him out early, you save yourself a lot of problems and it's actually not hard to do. And from there, you can then lead a counterattack against... Um, Lockyer Felhart and the Blessed Dread, because they will normally attack you at this time as well. But that's okay, because you can generally ride it out. Well, I always manage to ride it out before you actually, uh, until you manage to wipe out Luther Harkon, and then you just counterattack and you absolutely smack Lockyer down really easily. So obviously, we've got this initial fight coming up with the Skaven here of Clan Fester. That will not be a real fight because these guys won't stand. As you can see. Starting my journey. I know the way. So we come back to here. And we're going to recruit ourselves some more archers. You just want basic archers. Don't spend the extra on light armor. Because if you're needing the light armor version, that means you've screwed up in your battle plan or you're taking on a battle that you probably shouldn't be because the whole idea of these Archer Doom stacks is that you kill people before the armor becomes a factor. And with that in mind, we're going to go in here and we're going to demolish this building because we don't need it. Ready. The reason why I attacked here, knowing that they still wouldn't stand and fight, is because sometimes, not always, but sometimes, this army will stand outside the Fuming Serpent which means that you can then get two battles before taking the Fuming Serpent next turn. I'm going to click Cartridge Ammunition here, so the first 11 turns worth of research are dealt with. You've got Military Advancements 1, Reload Time Reduction for your Archers, and then Reload Time Reduction for your Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower units, which is one of the more useful units that you've got here. We're going to keep the Sword Masses of Hoeth around for now, but they're actually borderline useless. We're just going to keep them around for the moment until we've had our first little encounter with Luther Harkon. Okay, they went inside the Fuming Serpent. It doesn't make a huge difference. It would be nice if he'd hung around outside and recruited another general there, because then what you do is you go in, you win this battle uh, manually, and then you attack the Fuming Serpent afterwards, kill all the remainder of what you've left alive, and you get two battles worth of experience. But this will do fine as well. As you can see, it's an auto-resolve. We don't have any other big fights coming up, so why not? Uh, we're just going to occupy it, because there's very little money to be gained from the looting, and we need to be able to leave this place in a decent financial spot. Now, here, you've got a few different options. There's growth, 
there's entertainment and then there's aristocracy here which will let you recruit nobles getting a noble at this stage will be very good because what you want is to send the noble up north so you can forge diplomatic ties with Tyrion, with Eltharion and with Alariel. But we're not going to go for that building straight away because really growth and public order matter to us a lot more at this stage. So I'm going to go for growth because we want to build up the Star Tower as soon as possible. Techless, go for his magic line first. You're not going to be facing any multi-army battles at this stage. And this guy, Shem's Burning Gaze, and then you'll get him Earthblood so he can keep Techless and himself in the fight. We're going to go for six units worth of basic bitch archers. And we're going to go for the growth commandment. And we'll do that again. And there you see Luther. And he's doing exactly what I want him to do. So we come to here. Yes. And we get some more archers. As you can see, Luck here is already starting to have a look around because he fancies his chances. He's wrong too. We'll kick his ass when the time comes. Now, what I was hoping he would do here, and what he very often does, is Luther Harkon comes in and takes the Blood Swamps. He hasn't done that here this time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to about there. And I'm going to go into Ambush Stats, because we want them to weaken the army. This is not going to be really hard for us to take out with what we've got here. But why take chances if you don't have to? We want to sucker them into doing stupid things. Ordinarily, the stupid thing that Luther Harkon does is he comes in, occupies the blood swamps, weakens his army, and then we beat the shit out of him. But that hasn't happened this time. That's okay. There you go. That army has occupied the blood swamps. But Luther himself has not moved. Here we will just have to go. We'll go with this one because money is more of an issue than influence right now. Now, the reason, another reason why I didn't go for the noble here, uh, the building to recruit nobles, is because eventually they will give you one for free. So you can send someone up to do this stuff. We're going to go to war here. Battle calls Decisive victory. That's way more casualties than it should have been, quite frankly. Sack, this place. Sack for now. Let's have a look. Okay, we don't have enough movement range to get Luther, but that's okay. Let's just occupy. We're not going to spend anything here because that would be really dumb. Now, Teclis has unlocked Chain Lightning here. However, for the job we're actually going to do, I'm going to go for Flock of Doom because that makes it cheaper. Because when we're attacking the Awakening, it's a walled settlement, so Flock of Doom in spite of not being as good a spell overall, is actually better for the job that we have in hand. Okay, and look here, uh, Luthor, sorry, has come in and done what I was expecting him to do. I should have fought that battle manually. It's We're rushing just to get through and show you everything here. Okay, this army is not difficult to deal with. We're going to go for a corner camp. It's going to be nine front line and five behind because we're going to go for a demi checkerboard. Archers. Loyal. Techless. I'm waiting. And obviously, we've got the eagle there to Archers. muck some stuff around. Without fail. 
how that's moving. We turn those around. The reason why we went for the uh, the corner camp here is just because you can get flanked by these fell bats. Let's not waste any of that ammo on these. Nice and easy. See if we can lure in more of them in a hurry. I thought that was looking a bit spazzy there, and then I remembered, oh yeah, we're in a high speed, aren't we? It does have a few units of these. Let's see what we've got here. To be honest, the eagle's just a distraction. We'll just bring him back. Understood. Let's have a look at our attack line. I might turn this around a little bit. Let's see. Not that so much. Let's go like that. As you say. And start these to fire at will. Don't know why I used that on there. Let's face it, these bats aren't going to last very long. Move the eagle out of the way. No reason for it to get hurt at all. And we will use these to hit there. Get those onto there. Move those out of the way. We're going to use that there. Just try and keep him out of the way of those Mongols. Not because we're going to have any trouble killing them, but why let him take any more damage than he needs to, quite frankly. Shoot those, please. We'll go for those bombers there. There we go. This is all done. Ah, they had some stuff hidden. Let's just get the eagle out of the way. Those are within range, so let's just hit them. And Luther Harkon is going to go down very quickly here. And with that in mind, actually, I'm going to bring the eagle round because then we can start doing some heals. chance to heal the eagle that's okay I am ready. nice simple battle and now Luther Harkon doesn't actually have any armies um, we could use money and I don't think the replenishment is that big of an issue here Now, they're probably going to pull a sneaky and attack the Fuming Serpent. It's not that much of a sneaky, quite frankly. We do have the excuse to go and just hit them now. And you know what? Now, they don't always do this. But I'm going to take the opportunity to attack them. For this, I am going to go for... We will get Chain Lightning, just because it's there to be had. 
and we're going to have cheaper earth blood. That extra battle there, because ordinarily what will happen is Luther Harkon will come and take the blood swamps, and his other army will just be hanging around. This means that there now isn't another army, which is good for us. This is in forced march, so let's just Tremble kill him. Because we can do that. I don't trust it, so we're going to fight this manually. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't particularly matter where we do this, does it? We massively overwhelm them in terms of power. Just going to go like this and like this. If anything, this will give us a chance to heal the uh, the eagle. Because they're on the move, going for Block of Doom is actually probably better for us there. Let's aim for that unit there. And we'll pull back. They're not getting anywhere near us. that across just yet because obviously they've got to do their shooting and there we go this is already one so what we're going to do tell everyone to stop firing because they're in forced march anyway we just don't want to wipe them out it's not likely that we would but you know they're in forced march anyway so we don't want to end the battle sooner because we've got healing time for the eagle. It's only the eagle that's going to benefit from this, so let's just do this. And that'll do. Oh, just in time. Ever victorious. Job done. We'll take the money again because the, the replenishment captains. not hugely important to us at this stage. And from there, we're going to Marching. jump Marching. out to here. Actually, no. Let's just go to the Fuming Serpent, get that extra Master replenishment. The White Tower. And now we're going to go for... Lightning strike. Extra earth blood for the saw, uh, the law master of Hoeth. And we're making good time. This might be worth stopping off to get as well, just because it's good money. And we do have rights here, so immunity to attrition, yada yada, public order, and influence. Now, we don't need to worry about public order too much while we're here, so I will trigger this one probably in a moment because that gives us a public order buffer here but that's not guaranteed that i'll do that lock here has another army down here but we're okay for now we've got a little bit of time we'll check to see where his location is now he might have put out to sea already Uh, 
I'm going to go for this one because at the moment, because we're running an archer spam army, leadership actually doesn't matter so much. So we're going to get rid of that. He hasn't put to see himself yet. He's only got the black arcs, which means we don't have to worry about it now. Sword Masters of Hoeth, 343 uh, gold per turn. We don't need that anymore. It's To be honest with you, you can get rid of it straight away. But I'm quite a conservative player, so I tend to keep hold of it a little bit longer than most. We're going to bring Teclas to there. As you can see, he's been recruiting. There's nothing there that's particularly worrying, it has to be said. He is recruiting more, though, which could complicate things, but not a huge amount, I wouldn't say. Now, ordinarily, in this situation, what I would recommend doing is attacking this army outside so you can draw them outside of the Awakening. However, that's not always going to be an option here. And as you can see, that's quite a strong garrison that you've got there. So I feel like I need to show you how to fight this, even though they've added lots of extra troops that we're not going to be able to get rid of. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of this army while fighting at the Awakening and dealing with the walls and everything else. So let's get to it. Now, just to clarify a point I was making there just a second ago, if you do find yourself in this sort of situation and there's an army outside that you can attack and draw the garrison out, go for that, totally, because this army will shred basic bitch Vampire Coast forces on the approach. So it'll be fantastic for you. But a lot of the time, that's not going to be the case. You'll be stuck having to, excuse me, besiege um, the Awakening. So I'm going to show you how to win this siege, even though they've stuffed a lot more troops in there than normal. So first thing you do, you stick that over there. Four. Four. Three and three. Could have also gotten rid of these spearmen and recruited some more archers, to be honest. But, nah, it's fine. And then you put Teclis and your Lawmaster there. This is all within the range of one tower, which will shoot at them. This tower should not be able to hit us. And now we're going to go for that fort tower there. See, we're outside of their range. So let's speed this up. These are not the best at taking out towers, but hey ho. We will get through this one. We won't have enough ammo to take out the other one, which is why we're positioned the way we are. And if you want, you can just sort of buck and weave him back and forth to avoid getting hit. Just let your bolt throwers do their thing. There we go. Pause that. And now we go for these. Just because they're up on the walls and they're guns. We want to get rid of the guns from this area because then Teclis can move forward and start to use his magic. We have a fair bit of magic reserve on there because it's Tekkers. He gets a lot of magic. Even before you've buffed him, it seems like he gets a bit of preferential treatment from CA. And why the hell not? You know, I'm gonna make this three. I'm gonna make this groups of two, actually, because there are more units in there than you would normally wind up facing this battle. But this can happen, so we're gonna be conservative with ammo, so I can show you how to get maximum efficiency here.
as soon as these are out of ammo, we will bring group one forward. Excellent. Okay, they're out of ammo now. Just need to get to about there, and then we'll start getting rid of this unit. And what you've got to watch out for here is the point at which they start crumbling. Because once they start crumbling, that's free damage. Turn off the fire at will from everyone. So they're on weak binding. They're on critical. They're crumbling. So now we're going to tell them to stop firing. They'll probably go back to critical in a second, but that's okay. As you can see, look, we're getting free kills there. So that's gone to critical. Crumbling, 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 and that unit's gone. That means we can now bring in Techless, who will go to here, and we'll start using Flock of Doom. As I say, Chain Lightning is a better spell overall, but Flock of Doom can hit a lot of units all at once. Now, just to be sure about some things here, I'm also going to bring groups two and three forward in case they sally out to start hitting Techless. Because we're going to use Flock of Doom in like a massive sort of area of effect. Like, look at the number of units that's hitting. So we're going to hit that there. It was showing that as being a target initially, but that hasn't happened in the end. Uh, let's get that to there because I think we just got shot by something. Yeah, something's shooting at us. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Because they've put together another couple of armies, they have another couple of generals. That's okay. As soon as we hit 30 here, that's when we cast again. And I'm going to say let's go to... I want to get the guys who can shoot first. This can be pretty painstaking, but once I've shown you the method here and the targeting that you want to go with, I might turn it off so that you don't have to sit and watch it all. That's... It seems like we're just getting those three units. Let's go for those. And you always want to get yourself up to maximum magic because that means that you don't lose any recharge time. Now we could start shooting that. In fact, you know what? They can heal, so let's go and kill this one quickly. Because we don't want them casting any healing spells. Like that. Ah. Get rid of this quickly. One volley should do it. There we go. So this pair can go back. Techless has now got his full magic. Get it on the ground there. there go. Let's see how many kills he's got so far. So he's only got two kills so far, but look how much health he's taken off of them.
I'd like it if they were all closer together, but they're not switching around that much. Okay, and wait till we hit 30. Now we've got another general over here. Who is proving really hard to target. Yeah, it's not letting us target him because for some reason he's really close to the wall and that's messing with the aim. Okay, so that unit's almost gone. Weak binding. There we go. So that's crumbling. There we go. This unit will be crumbling after this cast. Oh, no, apparently not. Still critical. Okay, that's fine. Now we're going to start doing some drop shots into the back of these sirens. That was not a very good set of drop shots, guys. Please do better. Do you know what? I'm going to go for the Rotting Prometheans instead. Pause this quickly. Uh, not pause. Slow it down. Right. Those are crumbling now. And so are those. They'll probably go back to critical very soon, but every crumble kill is a free one. Start targeting those again. In fact, I don't know if... The, hang on a second, let's pull back quickly. They look like they're going to get up facing the wall here. So I'm going to bring Teclis around the side. Crumbling. Crumbling. Okay, it looks like those units are going to crumble away completely. So I want to avoid getting shot here. Putting a unit up here is good because it means we can just keep on with the same pattern. Oh, hang on. Some more coming in. Three extras there. Nice. Bombers. Oh, 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 oh. Tech, let's get away from there. Slow that down. Ugh, bombs knocking him down. Okay, we're going to need to shoot them. So they just keep knocking him down. No, no, no. Idiots. Okay, as soon as they hit crumbling, we stop shooting. Okay. Stop okay. shooting. Yeah, they're going to crumble away now. And as you see, as they get units wiped out in specific positions, they literally just replace them with more units that die in exactly the same way. We're going to go for those Rotting Prometheans again. Now, if there were 
melee units around them or you know these sort of squishy units around them i would blow up that bloated corpse but sadly that would be kind of pointless there now this unit here can we hit sorry about this let me see if i can just trying to see the red target indicator now it's, there's no decent hit there so we're just going to go for this we'll bring group three forward And we'll go after these bombers here. Oh, 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 stop firing. They're going to crumble away. That's good. Techless is on 30 again, so we're going to hit this. There we go. They've gone back to critical, so one quick volley there. They'll crumble away now. And with that in mind, we're going to move forward and get the Rotting Prometheans. Yeah, the um, if we had like Sirens or Gunnery Mob around that bloated corpse we blow up the bloated corpse because that's basically free damage for us but that's not the case so we're going after the rotting promethean solo oh hang on hang on there's another unit coming forward here Let's see if there's an opportunity to get a multi-unit hit on them didn't hit the deckhanders there. Get back. Get back. Okay, so the Prometheans are almost gone. So pause, or not pause, just stop shooting. Let them crumble away. As soon as they're gone, we can start moving forward again. It's just taking some time, but they are going to go. Position that well, literally just millimeters outside of their firing zone. I wish I could pretend that was deliberate, that I made it that accurate, but it was a total fluke. Right. Techers start coming forward because they're gone. There we go. That's where we want the cast to be. How many does he have? So he's got 195 kills with this really piss weak spell. Uh, we're going to go for those Rotting Prometheans there. Just try and wipe them out. Okay, got more bombers coming in. They're out of ammo, move them back. Techless's magic recharge is now taking a long time, so I might wind up pausing this because I do want to squeeze 
every last spell out that we can. There's only 10 more magic reserve. So I may pause the recording just while I do that, because this can be a very painstaking battle, especially because they've jammed a bunch of extra units in here. Cast that one on there. Are they crumbling yet? Not yet. So we're going to bring this group forward. And let's ungroup these. So I know what I'm doing with them. Now, I'm going to go for the Sirens because they've got their backs to us. And we should be able to kill them off a bit faster because of that. That should be not critical, not crumbling. Crumbling, okay, we leave them to it. Oh, those Prometheans are still there. One volley should do for them. Really? Oh, that's the bloated corpse. Ah, we might as well wipe it out. I don't know, maybe it did a little bit of damage there. Right, ah, they're crumbling. Don't shoot at them. There we go, one unit of Rotting Prometheans is gone. They're crumble. No, they're critical, not crumbling. Critical. Okay, they're out of ammo. Call back. Teclis still hasn't got his full magic yet. Oh, there we go. He's got it now. Time's a wasting, lads. Important that you don't have the time limit on for this, obviously. Get rid of them. They'll crumble now. Now, we're going to turn these round. We're going to go after these bombers. What the hell? Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. They drifted forward this game, honestly. Oh, as you can see, we no longer have any magic recharge, so we might as well just do that. Did not even notice that, wondered why they were fleeing. We only lost a few of them, it's okay. This game is seriously stupid sometimes. Right, go for these bombers. Yeah, they just ran up and let themselves be bombed. Wonderful stuff. Great archery work there, lads. You really do grasp the whole ranged meta. Right. We're going to go for these sirens now because we'll be drop shotting them. Stop a sec. Because they've all moved. Oh, techless. Move, 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 move. Being shot by some gunnery mob. We will shoot them then. They'll go down very quickly. And our Flock of Doom is costing now five per turn. So we've got four of them left.
Okay, get them back. Still annoyed about what happened there, but there you go. Techless, come to here. Oh no, wait, that's the, uh, the Lawmaster in that. Techless, you come to here. Go for there, because these will start crumbling. Yep, excellent. Get rid of these. They'll crumble. That's the garrison captain. They're crumbling. Go for these bombers. They're crumbling. Teclis has got one more cast. There we go. That's all he's got aside from his fireball now. It's fine. The fireball can be useful. Let's go for these because they've got their backs to us. Weak binding already. Critical, crumbling, which means pause. Duh. And again. And again. God almighty, will you just crumble, you dickheads? That looks like they're done for. Let's go for these. They're crumbling. And over there, you've got the Mortars. We're going to go for these bombers here because they look like they'll crumble any second. Get them out. Okay, we've only got two more units with ammo left, so we've got to make that count. get the gunnery mob bombers first and then go for the depth guard come on crumble get back you idiots Trying to get them to do smart things is very difficult sometimes. Yeah, we've got to stop shooting at that because they're not actually hitting them. Let's go after the Death Guard. And there you go, guys. All you have to do is trigger the army loss penalty. That's all that's about. It takes a long time, but if you're willing to persevere with it and you use the magic to the best of your ability, like I say, Techless there with a basic bitch spell, 323 kills. He did a lot of work for us there. Look at that. 22 losses. Another victory. Now here, because we're going to have to move out to deal with Lockheer Felhart relatively quickly, I'm just going to occupy, even though the money is very, very, very tempting there. And here, we're going to go for the public order building. We're still not going to be going with the uh, the noble building. Wait for them to give you the freebie or get the, um, the not the public order building, the noble building. Did I say public order building? Who cares? Merchant Lord we go for here. We're working our way towards lightning strike. So max that out because it's the most benefit for your overall faction. This guy, I'm going to go for spirit leech for him. 
because that can be useful in Lustria in case you're facing some dinosaurs. Uh, let's get one more unit of archers. That is a bit of a freebie there. I'm going to say let's go for that as well. Public order here, not terrible. We've still got several turns before that will rebel. This, though, is going to rebel straight away. Which is fine. Vampire Rebels. Here comes Locke here. I think he's going to go for the Blood Swamps because he's not a very intelligent guy. We're going to come into here. Battle calls me. Honestly, I should have fought that manually as well, but there you go. Plenty of replenishment there. Now, I'm going to come to about there. In camp stance, because I think Locke here is going to go for the Blood Swamps. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I didn't check to see... Sod off with your ogres. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of hearing ogres, my lord. No one cares. Yeah, we have wiped out the Awakened. I didn't even notice that we'd done it. That can happen, but sometimes there will be another army hanging around. Let's try and get some trade with the dinosaurs. All right, fine. Screw you. It's yeah, we've encountered some factions, that's fine. Uh, Techless, again, Merchant Lord. Now, over here, we want to be able to defend this place if we can. So, you get lots of archers in this garrison here. And just to be sure this can be defended in case... Of, uh, shall I? Yeah, we've got to deal with rebels. It's not so much other factions that I'm worried about, but rebels. So what you do is you find one here that doesn't cost... Uh, that doesn't like cause you any real inconvenience. Like magic resistance. would rather they didn't lose magic resistance. Luddite reduced research rate. We don't want that. We don't want that either. We don't want to use our influence here if we can avoid it. Unless there's a really good one, of course. Peaky, her physical resistance is not a huge concern to me. Ridiculed is normally a good one, but I'm not sure about having Law of Light for this army right now. Uniped's not bad. Just choosing the right one. Let's have a look at fire and see what the ones that cost us. Do you know what? 10% missile resistance. We'll go for that. I didn't really want to spend on any influence, but we'll go with that. Just get our three units of archers in there to bolster that army out for dealing with any rebels. Then you go... Burning Head, Kindle Flame, Cascading Fire Cloak. Just because with the garrison that you've got in there, you've got eight units of archers already, including the Lothern Seaguard. That takes it up to 11. She's got fire spells. You should be fine from there. And he also... Has a level. There we go. Go for the blood swamps, Lock here. Go for the blood swamps. No, I meant actually go for them. Don't just hang around them. 
What a knob. Can we reach him? Probably not. I'll sod off. We can't do that one. And it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll take the extra influence because we're not really getting that much from trade anyway. Like It's cost us 31. Can we reach him? He's in forced march. We can reach him. Bye bye, Lock here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Okay, you can fight that manually if you want. Whatever. Take the money. And then we're going to go into force march. And over here we'll get magical reserve because that benefits techers as well. It's going to have a rebellion here eventually, but who's worried about that? It's taken us well into negative cash, but as you can see, we've got plenty of cash, so it's not a big deal. It's got one army down there. We can start moving. It's have come down here. Not sure what's going on at Oixil. Immune to Storm and Reef Attrition. Wonderful. And we got the Scroll of Hoed, so that's decent to have. Oh, she can actually go up and activate the Ogres while she's there, actually. Okay, they've declared war. That doesn't matter to us. If they want to come and attack the Awakening, that's absolutely fine by us. Limitless talent. Let's get that. Get Mournfang Cavalry. High Elven Force March back to the Awakening. We're going to go out to sea, and then we're going to position ourselves inside the Star Tower to get the public order built up there for a turn or two. We'll have a rebellion here next turn. That's okay. They aren't going to stop us there. We'll go for that. None of these are particularly inspiring. I suppose speed for the archers. Yeah, we'll go speed for the archers. Why not? Just to get them the hell out of dodge when necessary. Two more turns and we'll be able to start building up the Star Tower to Tier 3. Yeah, going back to the Awakened, like I say, sometimes they will have like a spare little army hanging around. If they do, just wipe them out when you get the chance. Not just to be certain... Just to be certain, eh, shall I? How much extra will that cost us? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have faith in what we have there. Mage. It's uh, have helped us out by going after Chupiotl. In theory, that's helpful. In actuality, it's probably not that helpful for us because I would have liked to take that myself. Either way, it's easy enough to do because, as you see, we've wiped out everything that um, Lockyer has, really. Like, you've got this one little piss-weak army here and a Black Ark. Not really intimidating, especially because Black Arks won't attack your coastal settlements. Ah, sorry, Star Tower's ready to go already. Start building that up. This will be fine. No great desire for any kind of alliances right now. It very much looks like Itza have decided they want rid of your boy. Uh... Oh, hello. Is that. Yeah, that's the mutineers. We'll let them come inside the settlement. They want to fight there, let them. Techless, High Lawmaster. Tremble before me. Pyrrhic victory? Do you think so? Let's fight it manually. Okay, let's have a look at the best spot to go for here. I'm thinking it's here. Or is it? Let's have a look. This is a really shit map. Really, really, really shit, but... 
Eh, we'll do fine. Oh, hang on. It's even worse than that. We're in these bloody trees. Oh, what am I doing? For some reason, I didn't recognize the map here. This is one of the worst maps in the entire game, but it's okay. I hate this map. Same shit, different day. Move these forward. Eagle there. Spear boys there. Lawmaster. Lawmaster there. Techers there. Heckler. Oh, he's got Vanguard. Okay. Whatever. Now, for this one, I might be inclined towards going Chain Lightning. Might have helped if I was a bit more inclined towards actually timing the spell well. For there. And we won. Right, let's get the Eagle and Techers together so we can do a mass heal on all of our guys here. Our single entities, anyway. the spread. Looks like the eagle can as well. Job done. Spearmen are looking very rough now. I might actually just get rid of that unit and get ourselves some more archers. Because let's face it, the spearmen aren't really useful. Nine kills there. Well done, lads. This guy who was literally just standing around by himself got almost as many kills as you. Wonderful stuff. Um, we're going to loot and occupy this one. Not bothering to repair anything, though. Um, buh, 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 buh. let's start boosting his spirit leech. Oh no, we got those back because of the replenishment. Okay, fine, we won't get rid of that unit just yet. Public order, influence, reduce contraction cost. This is not worth spending on that right now. Right, it's sort of gone back where they came from. And it looks like Clan Pestilens are still around, which is nice because that's... There you go, they've declared war on Cult of Sotek as well. Behold, my power. Uh, influence plus 10%, minus 750. Extra growth for all provinces. I mean, that's not bad. Extra public order. Growth is useful, so I'm going to go for that. Grows, my lord. News of your conquests spread we are going to move wide. Techers to your there. Developing power is noted by even the most distant of kings. We're not worried about holding that place. 
High Elven Archmage. Monstrous. Teclas. Uh, wary is useful for when you're fighting Skaven. No interest in spending any money building up the Blood Swamps at this stage, because that could get to... Well, we don't really have many enemies. Do you know what? Maybe I will. How much is it going to cost us? Just because it you might stop the... Uh, it might reduce the number of rebellions we have to deal with at the Awakening. The old ones abandoned us all. Um, we'll hold off on that for now. We don't want to be overly pally with our um, lizardy friends. And we'll get a mage at the star tower if we go for that, but we don't have enough influence. That's fine. Uh, we've got the money, so I'm going to take that extra influence. Master and now... Tower. We're going to go after a little bit of extermination. That says decisive victory. I don't trust that at all. Mm, am I going to make you watch it? I might show you the start of the battle and not make you watch all of it. Okay, you know the story here. We're going to have some Menace Belows hitting us. It is what it is. It shall be done. Four. Archers. Four. Four and three. We'll have the eagle around to deal with them. We don't want these on fire at will because we don't want them to shoot each other. We also don't want everyone piled up on top of each other because that makes it more likely that they might hit a warp bomb and damage us, which we really don't want. We'll stick them there. This there. Eagle there, so he's ready to respond. And we're going to go for that one tower. And then we're just going to watch out for Menace Below. There we go. They went for the melee infantry, which is perfect for us, because fuck the melee infantry, who the hell cares? Just make them run away. That's all we want. There's another one. They're off the battlefield, there we go. Yeah, I don't think they've even activated Warp Bomb at this stage. And that's done. Okay. It shall be done. And then from there, we're just going to hit all of these. You, To be honest with you, it's not really worth you watching all this. You know what we're going to do. We're going to bombard them. We're going to use the archers to thin everything out. And that will be the end of the battle. I don't think you need to watch the rest of this, so... There you go. I can sure, I'm sure you can imagine how the rest of it went. It was just lots of magic and lots of archery. Easy peasy. Oixel is ours. Victory was assured. Indeed it was. We will take money this time. Because it's a fair bit of money for this stage. And if there's a rebellion, that just helps us. We will get rid of this as per usual. We will go public order here research I'm gonna say go for militia training but that is basically now that we've hit um, clan pestilence that hard we've done catastrophic damage to them there's scrolky boy showing up with another army he's gonna go for mangrove coast which is practically worthless compared to oixel so what I'm going to do, obviously, we can go for this army here, but I'm actually inclined towards going over here in ambush stats. 
tremble before me. And waiting for him to do that so that we can catch him out. And um, we could actually drop inside, but I don't think it matters enough. Uh, we'll get extra spirit leech. Yeah, we can drop inside there if we want to, but I don't think it's necessary. This one here... No, I'm going to hold out for them to actually gift me a noble. A little bit annoying that um, Gorok has not gone over to deal with his own rat problem. Because they appear to have spread out through a fair bit here, but that's okay. Poets chosen. I want to tempt them into pinning themselves in place. There we go. I will lead the Asa. They raised it. Okay, that was very, very peculiar of them. The Asa needs me. Is Skrull close enough for us to get? No. Okay. So that plan didn't quite work out. We're just going to go for the rebels here. Decisive victory. Easy. Take the money. Oh, they're not dead yet. But Techers can get some more experience. Draft Master. Blood Swamp's falling does not matter to me in the slightest. And what happened there was, as I was hoping, the rebels actually attacked this army. We should be able to wipe that out. The most gifted. This is all lesser beings deserve. Scholars now we're going to get back to there, and because there are rats in the area, I'm going to get three more units of archers. Let's start putting up walls there. And we're now going to do this because we, do, uh, we don't want a rebellion here. That's why I was holding on to that little right there because that gives us enough time to get the walls up. Which can give us a bit of response time on coming from the awakening if needs be. Repair, repair, repair. He's just floating around. He doesn't matter. The the Blessed Dread as a faction are effectively finished because there's just a Black Ark left. They have no settlement. It's one of those little stupid things in this game that they can still be a factor, but hey-ho. Now, Skrulk has gone and put himself wide open for us. We want that. Pyrrhic victory, do you reckon? I think not. Let's fight manually. Okay, not the most pleasing map to the eye here. We can't corner camp it, but that's okay. I mean, we can, but I mean, it wouldn't be a very good idea considering we have artillery. But then, okay, hang on. See, here's the thing. With Skaven, when you're dealing with their menace belows, they have a tendency to treat that as attacking. And that's a problem because, really, with Plague Claw Catapults being as powerful as they are, we want to waste their ammo. So the better hidden we are, the better it is for us. So let's just drag everyone to here. Obviously, they'll get an idea of where we are. Because the Menace Belows will hit us. Because the Menace Belows always know where you are because, you know, the game's full of shit. <laughs> um, but, you know what I mean. So, I'm going to turn everyone off of fire at will. I want the Eagle to be here to deal with the Menace Belows. Now, we're going to use this hill to hide behind. Leave the artillery there. Speak quickly! Mm -hmm. 
bring these guys to here. Because this thing will scare the shit out of the menace belows, basically. Where are you? So they can't see the eagle because we're over the mountain, so we're okay there. But that might be stopping them from triggering the menace below, so let's just hold up on that for a second. Okay, in that case, let's go to here. And we're going to go and waste their Plague Claw Catapult ammo. So they want to see a land unit before they will use the Menace Blows. So ordinarily the game cheats. That's actually quite fair of it. And I'm going to reward it by wasting its ammo. Screw you, game. Screw you. Because that is the most fearsome unit they've got. Plague Claw Catapults are horrendous to deal with. And Tekkers isn't on a mount yet, so we can't use his magic to full effect. Come on, just stop fucking about and turn around and shoot at us, will you? Already burned through a fair bit of their ammo anyway. And we could waste their um, their slinger ammo as well. But that seems a bit wasteful. They're not that important. The play claws are the real danger. Taking a couple of hits to the eagle, but it's okay. Rather take the hits to the eagle than to my archers or techless. And they're out of ammo. Okay. Now, eagle, you're going to come back to here. And we're going to pull some more tricks. So we're going to get those to there. These to here. Second row to there. Now, these guys, I'm going to have come up here because I want them to bait the Menace Belows. There we go. Now, because they can't see these, they're not setting the Menace Belows on these. So, that's good for us. We can ride out all three Menace Belows and then get ourselves into a prime shooting position. And if it's taking too long, we can just start shooting them. Okay, do you know what? I'd rather just shoot them now. Fire. They're shattered. Should be one more menace below to deal with. Start moving this further forward because we definitely want to have them as active as possible. Just wondering how many menace belows they've got. I think it should be three. Let's start bringing these forward because it's only one that we have to deal with now, I think. One tops. Techless, you can go forward. There we go. Right, shoot. Ever 
Right, right, down you go. You just make sure they leave. None can comprehend my power. Oh, actually, you guys all get together. We'll do a quick heal while we've got the chance. You go for there. Archers, for duty. All on fire at will. Oh shit. We have magic As you say. Understood. Loyal. It is done. Oh, where's he? Chosen of poets. Cyclone, hear me. Right, send the eagle in to engage Scrop because he's a pain in the ass. Techless, you engage them. Right, eagle up in the air because you're getting the shit kicked out of you straight away. You suck, you suck, you suck. But you've distracted Skrulk and that's a good thing. Right, distract him again. You guys go for there. Techless, get away from there. My way. Yeah, that's what I want. I want the eagle to keep him away from Techless. Their end is nigh. Eagle, back up in the air. Yeah, we haven't positioned the um, the eagle claw bolt throwers perfectly there, but that's okay. All right, we can get these guys together for a quick group hug. Yeah, I didn't use the eagle claws to the best of my ability there. Didn't get them where I normally would, which would be just over the edge of the ridge. So we didn't get all the shots off there that we could have. Could have done a lot better than that. But, let's face it, we can't exactly say it went badly, can we? And Scrop got wounded, which is lovely. Plenty of healing time, too. Might even get enough time for one more. That'll do it. We'll take replenishment there because we're not exactly short of money. Moving on. Skrulk has been sucker or his army's been sucker punched. He himself has just been wiped out. Ooh. That looked more impressive than it turned out to be. We got lightning strike for Techers now. This guy will go for Ward of Loic. You must restore order. 
High Elven Archmage. Okay, public order is now neutral there on the Star Tower. The Blessed Dread is wiped out because Gorok finished them off for us. That was actually a bit of a distraction there. We could have used Gorok more against the Skaven than against the Blessed Dread. But it sent his armies just sort of chasing around for no good reason. I bring Azurian fire. Do I want to come and occupy this? Probably not. Let's just let Gorok have it. I don't care. The main reason why we took the Awakening was to take the Awakening. The Rebel Army's gone. Your word is my command. We don't have enough movement range to take that. Subatoon is now taken. So we're now going to head up. My Lawmaster of Hoa. He's run away. If he goes for the um if he goes my for the ambush, he won't win. Not with that. Like we would literally just have to run into a good position and then we'd be fine. I am not gonna spend on that. We still haven't been gifted a uh, noble yet. If that doesn't happen next turn, I'll demolish this building and then we will basically buy it by getting that, um, that entertainment building. There you go. So Gorok's taken the Skaven out of the Blood Swamps. Well, that's what it looks like anyway. We definitely don't want to mess with our public order right now. We'll drop our income. There is no limit to my power. Going. Close victory with low casualties, but we lose a unit. Do you know what? I'm not going to risk it because there might be another Skaven army about. Okay. One of the normal little Skaven-y undercity type maps, that's okay. Oh, that's supposed to be behind, not in front. What's the matter with me? There's going to be menace below, so let's just leave the eagle there. He is a big-headed twat, his deck list, isn't he? We get it, mate. You're good at magic, okay? Did it land you the Ever Queen? No, so clearly your sword's not all that effective. If you know what I mean. I'm sure you do. We're all grown-ups here, aren't we? Right, there will be Menace below, so let's prepare for that. Yeah, fuck it, shoot them. we got plenty of ammo. How close are they? Oh, they're on top of us already. That's fine. Go after the melee troops. I don't care. Uh, Eagle, come back here and deal with that, please. Understood. We will obey. Techless. Ah, I shouldn't have started that there. God damn it. Wasteful. Seeking a foe. To war. Speak quickly. 
Right, just get rid of that menace below, for Christ's sake. Really, this is how long it's going to take. Let's come back to... Uh, actually, let's just hit that. Group hug lads, I feel like it's in order. It's not going to really do much for this unit here. And do you know what? I don't give a shit about keeping that alive. We can just replace it with archers. What? Did I, I just cast Block of Doom out there? <laughs> This is what happens when it's so easy that you lose concentration, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he's the one who needs it more than Tekkers, really, isn't he? Whatever. We'll get everything replenished over the end turn anyway, really. We'll get rid of this unit if it's, like, not in great shape after the replenishment. Um, it's not very much money, is it? And the replenishment, not that important. So we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of this. Uh, tsh, eventually. We're going to get another unit of archers. We're going to get rid of this as well. And that means that the last of Clan Pestilence is an axolotl and they are effectively crippled and surrounded by enemies because the lizard men will finish them off in no time so as it stands here's how we're leaving it mangrove coast whatever there's probably some there's probably clan pestilence in there you can come around and sweep them out but we have taken the awakened out of the awakening we've destroyed them very very quickly and very very easily and as you can see we've got a good hold on that We've had to use a right for that, but that will end soon enough. Is that even still in effect? Yeah, I think we've got like another... Yeah, we've got two more turns of that. But we'll be able to fight off rebels there anyway, because that garrison is solid, and so is this army. We've obviously held on to the Star Tower, which is now fully walled up. And yeah, you are not taking out that garrison there. Look at the amount of range you're packing in there. That is a perfect garrison for defending a settlement so that is grand we can now start building this up we can start demolishing this so that we can put in where is it this one here so that we can recruit a noble who can go up then by sea to forge diplomatic relations with Tyrion and with Alariel and Elthar and every other bloody high elf that's on um, Ulthwan. It's all grand. Um, but the Skaven are also basically dead. Well, Clan Pestilence, anyway. And 
the Blessed Dread are gone. So instead of focusing on getting the Blessed Dread straight away, we got rid of a much bigger threat in the Awakened. We then took out the Blessed Dread anyway, really quickly, and the Skaven are crippled as well. That's in 21 turns, guys. So that is how I start off a Techless campaign on Legendary on Mortal Empires. As you can see, we've got a little financial deficit there, but that's not really a big problem because we can go around and take Mangrove Coast off them at any given moment. Just drop off here and then come down by sea, get that. And yeah, we're in really good shape. They might also hold the Blood Swamps. We can take that out in no time as well. And Axolotl, the Lizards are going to get that for us, let's face it. So, hope this is proving helpful to you guys. Um, if it is helpful or you've just enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you hitting subscribe, liking, all that other good stuff that YouTubers are continually badgering you to do. But if you don't want to, don't let YouTubers tell you what to do, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. If there are other factions that you want to see campaign start guides for, please hit me up in the, uh, in the comment section and tell me who you're struggling with, and I'll see if I can help you out with it. Thanks again, guys, and see you in the next one.